Hey guys, it's your girl Happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, hello there. Welcome to my channel. And this channel is all about fashion and business. So today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to create a Belgo cell on your Shopify store. Basically, I am going to show you how to create a buy one, get one free, or a buy one, get one 50% off. Before jumping into today's video, please don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so, for more Shopify tutorials as well as fashion content. And without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So here we are on our Shopify page. Um, we'll go ahead and click discounts right over here on your left hand side. So I'm going and click discounts. So this is how the discount page is going to look like. And since this is going to be my first time creating a discount on my Shopify shop, my page is going to look like this. If you have created a discount before, they will all appear right over here. But since this is my first time, so I'll go ahead and click create a discount card. Right over here, you can go ahead and type a discount name. Like what do you want to name your discount code and for this video i'm going to do a buy one get one free so i'll just go ahead and type the name of my discount i'll i'll just call it buy one get get one free you can actually be creative and name whatever you feel like naming your discount card but yeah I'm just going to go ahead with buy one, get one free. And then on the types right over here, so you can either pick a percentage or a fixed amount. So the free shipping or buy X, get Y. For this video, we are going to do the buy one, get one free. So we will go ahead and select the buy X, get Y. So on the customer buys right over here, we are going to pick the quantity and the specific product you want your customer to get this discount. We have two selections. There is minimum quantity of items or the minimum purchase amount. So you can go ahead and select that one. So if you select the minimum quantity of items, this is how the boxes will be looking like there will be the quantity and the items from but if you want to use the minimum purchase amount you can just select that one and put the amount and your specific items but for this video we are going to do the buy one get one free so i'll pick the minimum quantity of items and then i'll click my quantity which is one and i'll go right over here and pick the specific product that i want so you can either pick between specific products or specific collection. This will be your choice. So I am going to pick a collection and I'll go ahead and browse them right over here. So I'm going to browse them and I am going to pick all my shorts, okay? And click add and then customer gets. So this is where we are going to give them a free product, okay? So they're going to buy one and they're going to get a free items. So they'll get one quantity. And again, I'm going to pick specific collections and I'm going to browse and shorts. Add it. So basically you can pick anything you want. If you want to have the entire website to be buy one, get one free, you can actually go ahead like for example on this if you pick specific collection and click browse you can select all of them if you want if you want to have the entire website but for this video i am only going to have my sh only shorts so i'll go and leave it short and at a discount value so right over here we are going to pick either we're going to give them a percentage or a free product. So I'm going ahead and click free since I'm going to offer them one free product. And right over here, if you want to set a maximum number of users 
who will buy each items you can go right over here and set a limit on and on the customer eligibility so right over here you can go ahead and pick either you want this discount to apply for everyone or you have specific group of customers if you have them you can go ahead and browse them right over here you can either pick all who have abandoned your checkout your subscribers new or returning customers you can go ahead and pick either one or you can pick specific customers so you can go ahead and browse and pick your specific customers that you want them to receive this discount but i'm going ahead and click everyone every customer is going to be eligible for this buy one get one free and right over here on the usage limits so you are going to select so this is your choice actually you can select between these two boxes if you want to limit the numbers of times that this discount can be used in total or you want to limit to one use per customer so you can go ahead and click there if you want this option and click maybe five times so like every customer will be able to use this discount meaning this bogo sale will only apply to to every customer only five times they can use this only for five times but again you can also pick if you want to limit to one use per customer I will actually recommend you to click this one, especially if you're doing a big amount of sale. Uh, for example, if there is Valentine's Day, uh, Labor Day, Halloween, etc. You really don't want customers to buy a lot of things by using this discount because you will lose a lot of money. So you can go ahead and limit to one use per customers, okay? And down over here, we are going to select the date so when do you plan this discount code to be active so you can go ahead and select the date you want and the time as well okay and you can set also the end date so for me i'm planning this i'm planning this discount to start today and i'll go ahead and make the end of this discount will be on the october 2021 on the 31st so after picking your dates and you feel like you are happy about it, you can go ahead right over here on the summary and you can view what you have created so far. So this is our discount name, buy one, get one free and is available on online sales channels. Your customer will be able to buy one items and get one item free. And this will apply for everyone and it can be used for one customer and it will also be active from today until October 31st. And you can see right over here, we really don't have any performance at all since we just created it. So after viewing all your selections, you can go ahead and click save. Okay, and you can see here, our discount has been created successfully. And then you can go ahead and if you want to share the link, you can go ahead and click right over here to get a shareable link. You can copy the link and paste it either on your social media or you want to send it to your customers through the email or text. You can go ahead and do whatever you want. Um, and then you can go back. And here we are. So this is our discount. It shows this is active and no one has been using it yet. So once your customers started using it, they'll, you'll get to see the number of customers who have been using it already. Okay. Yeah, so that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you find this video tutorial helpful, please go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe on my channel if you haven't done so. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any video recommendation you want me to do it for you guys for the next video. And for now, that's it for today and I'll see you guys on the next video.